Excuse me, my dog. Alright, guys. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, what a nasty day. This might be the nastiest day. I can't remember the last time we had a day this nasty and just slit your wrist, put me on a UFO, get me the fuck out of here kind of day. So while I'm dealing with this nasty weather out here, here's, here's what uh, I wake up to this morning is a message from the Airbnb support team that there has been a uh, a uh, an issue an issue has arisen <laughs> at Bugs in a Jar Farm so uh, before I get into it guys I don't know I'm sure there are some people who are getting ready to interpret what I am getting ready to say as a homophobic comment, so uh, you can add, I guess, a uh, homophobe to everything else. So what, you know, what, what I don't understand here at Airbnb is we are a magnet for lesbians here at Airbnb. I would say 30% of my vacation rental clients uh, at Airbnb are lesbians, uh, but we have never, ever, until last night, had a gay male couple spend the night here. Never happened. Uh, in, in three years, this is the first time uh, I have ever had a gay male couple uh, get a, a uh, rent a tiny house, so I don't know why that is exactly, but obviously I guess the only conclusion that I can reach is that uh, the vibe, the back to nature vibe that I am trying to create here does not appeal to gay Cup, gay male couples, and that is perfectly fine. Uh, they probably want, you, you know, their their little fucking uh, mints under their little chocolate mints under the pillow. That they probably want their fucking towels heated for them. I don't know, but but anyway. So last night, uh, I get my first gay male couple, they checked into Seahorse, uh, to the Seahorse tiny house uh, up at the top of the mountain. Okay, and, and, and a little bit uh, of uh, amplification and clarification. So I am taking my share of responsibility for what happened here. So what normally happens, see I have this website called Finger Lakes Tiny Homes for Rent, where I have in-depth videos, tours of the places, and talking about uh, bugs in a jar farm. And one of the things, one of the videos that I have on there is talking about little critters you might encounter at bugs in a jar and I plainly state in that video that you might encounter a mouse in a tiny house here, either in the wall or who knows, even in the house with, with you, that you might encounter a mouse. And so I send that video out to everybody and I do a pretty good job, particularly in Seahorse, uh, where we have this mouse in the wall, uh, about telling people when they get here, well, I dropped the ball. I did not send these guys uh, the video, and it's two grown men, 
and they have two dogs with them. Two fucking grown men, a, a, a goddamn German shepherd, and, and a little poodle. And so they check in here last night. They absolutely love seahorse. Absolutely love it. So understand that seahorse has a perfect five-star record. Every single person who has ever stayed in Seahorse has given it five stars. I have a 100% perfect five-star rating on Seahorse, including a lot of people who were in there with the mouse. There was a single woman in Seahorse for the, the, the three nights before these guys. There was another single woman in Seahorse uh, before her. Now, I did a better job of explaining the mouse to them. These ladies had no problem with the fucking mouse. No problem whatsoever. I had a single woman in Blue Dragon last night, which I'll get to her in a minute. She was there in Blue Dragon. She also had a mouse in the wall at Blue Dragon last night. And I was talking to her about it this morning, and she just shrugged. And, you know, no shit, Sherlock. You're renting a tiny house uh, out in the forest. Uh, she had absolutely no problem uh, with that uh, with that damn mouse sharing uh, Blue Dragon with her. So anyway, what happens with these with these dudes is I uh, they love the place. I saw they had a big fire going when I went to bed at eleven o'clock last night. They had a big fire going. They were uh, obviously enjoying themselves. And then when I get up at 8 o'clock this morning, I have a message from the uh, support group at the vacation rental uh, place saying at 3 o'clock in the morning, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I am getting a message from the support people that we have an issue. These two men, I guess, in the middle of the night, these two fucking grown men with their fucking German Shepherd and their poodle, they heard a mouse. Is that a mousy? Is that a mousy or not? Is that a mousy? They heard a mouse in the wall. They did not see a mouse in the house with them. They heard a mousey scratching on the inside of the wall at 3 o'clock in the morning. These two fucking little pussies, these spineless, dickless little pussies grabbed all of their shit at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning, grabbed all of their shit, grabbed their German Shepherd, grabbed their poodle, fled in terror into the middle of the night, threw their shit in their car, and took off to find, I guess, some fucking hotel room in Ithaca with the fucking little heated towels and the fucking little chocolate uh, under their pillows, and, and uh, of course they're demanding a full refund, which I gave the motherfuckers, hundred and seventy-two dollars, uh, going out of my goddamn pocket because these fucking spineless, dickless little pussies, these two fucking grown men, could not deal with a fucking two-inch mouse in, in, inside the goddamn walls of their house, and I'm only blaming one of them. Uh, and you know a little bit what I'm talking about. This was not 
a team decision, I am assuming that one of the two of them, probably not the guy with the diamond earring in, in, in his ear. Uh, uh, I'm guessing it was the one with the diamond earring that uh, had the problem and I'm trying to give his little friend the benefit of the doubt that he was that that he was overreacting to a fucking two-inch mouse in in the fucking walls. You know, guys, uh, just 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 you know, I uh, shit like this happens to me. Uh, and, and, and I'm thinking, what are these little fuckers uh, gonna, gonna do when global industrial civilization collapses uh, on, on their fucking little pussy asses? A, you know, a goddamn two-inch mouse in the wall of a tiny house uh, in, in, in the deep woods. You can imagine uh, the fucking message I left on their goddamn answering machine, which is probably going to get me in more trouble uh, with Airbnb. I mean, they, I, I mean, I have had two people from uh, support uh, contacting me over this, wanting to know exactly what I am doing to address the issue. I said I'm not doing a goddamn thing to address the fucking issue. The little fucking pussies can fucking deal with it. And uh, so I, so I, I, I only have three other people uh, checking in to uh, two more coming to Seahorse and one more coming to Blue Dragon. Uh, so uh, I contacted all three of these women, all three of these women, uh, telling them what happened last night and I'm making a full fucking disclosure that they're going to be sharing their fucking a tiny house with a two-inch mouse. Hopefully the mouse will stay in the wall, but I'm not even guaranteeing that. Uh, so I, I've contacted these three women. I've talked to two of them, and, and both of which laughed the whole thing off, saying, Sam, uh, we have no problem uh, with sharing our tiny house with a fucking two-inch mouse. And I guess I got one more person to hear from, uh, one more woman uh, to hear from. Uh, I I anyway, guys, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, four more people uh, before I shut this fucking show down uh, for the year. And uh, you better believe uh, there's going to be a fucking video uh, that I'm going to be making that every motherfucker, uh, whoever rents a, a tiny house here at Bugs in a Jar Farm is going to hear that they might be sharing their tiny house with a fucking mouse. There might be some bugs at a place called Bugs in a Jar Farm. There might be some spiders. There might be some fucking snakes. Fucking Bigfoot might come busting down the fucking door. Hey, you fucking pussies. You know? And you, and, and you wonder why people are homophobic. Oh, fuck. Got, got, got no patience with fucking pussies. Pussies are fucking pussies. Uh, Jesus. When did we become such a planet of fucking pussies? But anyway, since it is Saturday, I get to go have some fun. And this is UFO Saturday, so I've got three videos. We're going to step a little bit out of, the, out of the space alien 
genre. We're going to have a Bigfoot video. We're going to have a Carlos Castaneda video. And then we're going to interview a buddy of mine uh, who claims that he personally uh, had a conversation with a man from another planet. So we're going to have that interview. So uh, if any of you guys have the stomach for that, those videos coming right up. Get out there and enjoy dedicating your life to, uh, to escaping a two-inch fucking mouse in your wall, you fucking little pussy. Bye, guys.